Y'all ready for some homemade ketchup? Now, this ain't like that stuff in the store. It's so much better. And it's definitely better for you. So, let me show you how I do it. Okay, y'all. We're starting out with some organic tomato paste. Yes, we could have used fresh tomatoes, but we're working smart, not hard. So, we're just going to use this tomato paste. Going to go ahead and add that to our pot. The next thing we're going in with is some agave syrup. Now, I like agave syrup, but you guys can use brown sugar, white sugar, corn syrup, honey, you can use whatever you want to sweeten it with. I like agave syrup because it's lower on the glycemic index, and that's what I use every day. But you guys can use what you want. The next thing I'm going in with is some distilled white vinegar. I'm just going to add that in, and then I'm going in with some water. After I get the water in there, I'm going in with some brown sugar, and then I'm going to add in my seasonings. I'm going to add in some garlic powder, some onion powder, after that, I'm going in with some celery salt. Then I'm going in with some ground mustard. And then I'm going in with some ground cloves. And then I'm going to go ahead on and give that a good mix. Once I get this mixed up really well, I'm going to test it to see how much salt I want to add to it. Remember, y'all, we're making our own ketchup so we can add as much or as little salt or sugar as we like. So once I get that salt in there, y'all, I'm just going to go ahead on and mix that up. So now I'm just transferring it to a bigger pot, y'all. I don't want it to boil over when I put it on the stove. So once I get it into that new pot, I'm just going to go ahead on and put it on the stove. I'm going to cut that heat down to medium low. We want to cook this low and slow, y'all. Okay, low and slow. So now I'm just going to start stirring it, and I'm going to let it cook, y'all. And I'm going to come back every few minutes to make sure I stir it because I don't want it to stick. I also popped the lid on the top, y'all, to make sure that it didn't pop all over my stove and everywhere else. I didn't want to do no big old cleanups, y'all. Okay, y'all, my ketchup has reduced down. Everything looks good. So I'm just going to let it sit right here and cool completely now it's completely cooled down i'm gonna go ahead on and transfer it to my jars and go ahead and pop my labels on there because y'all know i like it pretty and y'all look at this masterpiece right here we made ketchup kale's way y'all now y'all already know my greedy spirit over here acting up so i made myself a plate of steak fries and y'all already know what's next i got to give it a taste mm, 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 mm. Mm. Let me get off in here again to make sure I'm tasting what I'm tasting. Mm. Oh my God. Now, I wasn't sure about this, but I had to check with my poodle baby. and He gave it the thumbs up. Now, if he gave it the thumbs up, y'all, it's fire because poodle picky. Now, y'all, the only thing left for me to say about this ketchup is that's good right there.